Welcome to the Elbow Pain Solution. After applying these strategies, any pain you may have should completely go away. To get started, you simply need some bands and a secure object to attach them to. I recommend a power rack, but a door works too. The setup is easy. Loot the band and if needed, widen the base for more tension. Just make sure to not double the bands as this will make the exercise too difficult. As you probably guessed, you'll be performing the band pushdown. By far the most important exercise in limiting elbow pain. However, there's a little twist. You are going to be doing it with a very fast tempo in order to get the overspeed eccentrics. This is what will truly aid in developing the soft tissue and curing your elbow pain forever. Perform the repetitions fast and pay not so much attention to the form. It's about getting the movement in, getting that blood flow in. In terms of sets and reps, I provide the best guidelines on the screen. So make sure to do that. You can also use a neutral grip. It'll provide similar benefits. Now, in terms of when to do this, I recommend 12 to 24 hours after each grueling session. Or it could just be two to four times a week at random. Now again, I want to stress the importance of not doing slow and control or just moderate tempo in general. We really want to get the overspeed eccentric. So this would be considered good form under normal circumstances. But for someone who has really bad elbow pain, you need to be doing the repetitions fast. All right. And like I said before, you don't need a power rack. The door works fine. And if it feels too easy, get down on your knees or switch bands. It's that simple, guys. Now, the band pushdown is not the only thing you could do for rejuvenating the elbows. You can actually do band extensions. So the exact same principles apply. You want to do the reps fast, same sets and reps. Nothing really changes. You're just getting a different movement pattern. In. So feel free to alternate between the two or use one that you prefer. I can tell you that with the overhead extension, you'll get some long head benefits in there. And it's really good to do with a fast tempo. So the next exercise I want you doing is the band curl. This is best done immediately after the push downs. This will really pump up the entire arm, which is what we're looking for here. And again, the same exact strategies apply. Fast repetitions, not crazy obsessed form, just getting the movement pattern in with the overspeed eccentrics. And I personally recommend a hammer grip for these. Now, if you don't want to stand on the band, you can easily attach it to a stationary object like a loading pin or even a power rack. It doesn't really change so much. Just make sure that you have tension throughout the entire range of motion. And sometimes you may need to use a monster mini band for that. And by the way, you can use a supinated grip, just like I showed you with the extension and rope. Same thing can be done for the curl. So it doesn't just have to be hammer style, even though I do feel that's the best way to do it. Oh, and one final variation is to attach it to the band pegs of a power rack or just the rack itself. Now, one of the culprits behind elbow pain is an overemphasis on wrist flexion exercises, which is why we want to do the opposite wrist extension. And the best movement that I found for this is the reverse wrist roller. Get a very nice pump in and induce progressive overload. Although you don't have to go very heavy on these. Check your ego, all right? We're just trying to correct a muscular imbalance that sometimes causes elbow pain. At the same time, I want you doing band figure extensions, which will completely change your life. So you want to open up the bands. It doesn't have to be this particular type. And I would advise three sets of 20 or even five sets of 20 or just doing this whenever you have free time. You can do this at work if you want. So those were the main tips. Now I'll be providing some extra advice, starting with the concept of wearing elbow sleeves. I strongly recommend this even if you don't have any injuries or pains. You'll get some nice compression and warmth, and I feel you'll get much better elbow recovery, especially if you're doing grueling compound exercises and going heavy in addition to extensions, which I also want to touch upon very briefly in today's segment. To get straight to the point, you should not experience pain from doing tricep extensions. If this is happening, you haven't corrected the root cause. So even if you're doing this particular form where you're bringing the barbell to your forehead, which is not optimal for the elbows, you still shouldn't get pain if you corrected the issue. Now, this is actually a modified variation where the head is slightly off the bench. So range of motion is increased a little bit and I'm not like extending towards my body, but a better way is to bring the bar behind your head. Not like this, that's over exaggerated, but very simply behind the head, okay? This will aid in developing the long head of the triceps and you can get some movement in. You don't want to keep your elbows completely stationary. This can be quite stressful on the elbows. Same thing for the easy bar, okay? Behind the head and when you extend, it's not in front of the body like a close grip bench. This is the best way to do extensions if you're someone who has elbow pain. And I also want to stress the importance of not going really heavy or ego lifting. Make sure to use proper form and consider keeping the reps on the higher side. I recommend 
8 to 15, 15 to 20, 12 to 20. It's got to be real simple, man, and use progressive overload with good form. Don't be cheating the weight all over the place and find variations that are less stressful on the elbows like the dumbbell versions, okay? And if you really have a hard time with ego, I mean, just drop the rest intervals. This is an isolation exercise. This is done after the compound movement. So cut the rest intervals back. This way you can get more out of less weight and do pre-exhausting strategies. So hit your push-ups right before, hit some curls as well, and get some push-downs in. The more blood flow you get to the area before doing the extensions, the better it's going to be. And then one final thing is to take your time when warming up. Don't just jump into your heavy weights right away. Ramp up as if it's a competition exercise and you shouldn't get any pain from extensions ever again. So that's the elbow pain solution. I hope you learned something from this video and I look really forward to hearing your updates in a few months from now when your pain is completely gone and you're ready to do extensions and lift heavy again. So keep me updated. And let me know if you want more videos like this.